Good evening and welcome to Pine Richmond High School. Tonight we have a PRTV production of Boys Varsity Basketball between the visiting Steel Valley Ironmen and the home team, the Pine Richmond Rams. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brian Kirk alongside the legend Ben Lambert. Great seeing you again. It's been a while since uh, football season. Yeah, it's good to be back, Brian. Yep, uh, we got a good game here tonight uh, between the uh, Rams and Ironmen as we're about ready to get underway here. The tip-off will be just over our shoulders and... Uh, here we go, taking the tip is Dracovic for Pine Richard, and he wins it back to Colin Llewellyn. Llewellyn gets it off to Petcash at the wing, inside Dracovic, back outside, top of the key. Llewellyn, now Shulkowski. Three from the top, that's Llewellyn! Llewellyn with 10 points on, tu on Tuesday night's win against Shaler area, a game being played down at Shaler. Following in the footsteps of his older brother. Yeah, Evan Llewellyn also played for Pine Ridge in a few years. Actually played last, last year. Last year. Yep, on the state runner-up team yep. for the Rams. There's a pass that's tipped away. Now here goes Sholkowski. Rams in transition. Sholkowski will lay it up and it's good. Five nothing Rams. 47 seconds into the game. Starting five for the visiting Steel Valley Ironman. Number one, Cameron Williams. Number two, Camden Pollack. Number four, Andrew Hoy. Number 23, Connor Vihek. And number 24, Chase Pollack. There's going to be a whistle. Ironman currently 2-0 yeah. oh in conference play. Yep, they're in uh, Triple A, section four. As here's a three by Pollack, and it's up and good. Now here goes Dracovic at the wing, gets it to Sholkowski. Sholkowski now gets it to Petcash, back to Sholkowski. And now Llewellyn at the wing. Gets it inside Sebastian Kasanovich, back outside to Petcash. Petcash defended by Pollack. And now Sholkowski inside to Dracovic, outside back to Petcash. And now Llewellyn pulls up for a three, rattles in and out. Tipped around and still bouncing around and picked up by Phil. Phil from just inside the free throw line, shot too strong. And it will be out of bounds off of Pine Richland. Still valuable inbound. 6-12 in our first quarter of action. Rams up 5-3. There's an inbound and here goes Williams. And it is blocked away by Llewellyn. Williams will inbound. Steel Valley is coming off of a 64-56 win against Shadyside Academy on Tuesday. Both Rams and Steel Valley coming off victories. As mentioned earlier, the Rams defeated Shaler 77-51 down at Shaler Area High School as Kasanovich has the ball, gets it outside. A three attempt by Andrew Petcash. Rattles in and out, tipped around and picked up by Pollack. Chase Pollack, that is. He pulls up for a three. And it rattles in. Ironman have their first lead of the night, six to five over Pine Richland, 537 in our first quarter. Sholkowski gets it to Petcash, back to Sholkowski, and now Llewellyn at the wing, defended by Hoy. And now Sholkowski, just inside the charity stripe shot too strong. Offensive rebound, Dracovic inside the paint, off the glass, no good. Kasanovich tries it, no good. Petcash gets another rebound. And there's going to finally be a foul, a reach-in foul, on Pine Richland. Yeah, Pine Richland not hitting their shots here early, Brian. Foul charge to Kasanovich. Here's the inbound to Pollack, Camden Pollack. There's two Pollacks, two brothers. Camden Pollack, number two, the senior, while Chase Pollack is sophomore, number 24. Here's Williams. Williams defended by Colin Llewellyn. And then gets met by Kasanovich. Now dumps it off to Camden Pollack. Pollack will drive against Sholkowski. Turnaround shot. Nothing but net. Now Petcash. Rams trailing by three to Steel Valley. Eight to five. Petcash will drive in the paint. There will be a travel on Dan Petcash. Six points so far for Chase Pollack. 
Two three-pointers, in fact. A sloppy play here to early to start here, Brian. Yep, Connor Vihek now defended by Sebastian Kasanovich. Gets it to Camden Pollock. Gets it now to Hoy. Hoy finds Williams. Williams drives against Llewellyn. And he will drive off the rim. Rebound goes to Kasanovich uh, originally, and it's tipped around. And now possession is maintained. Now a three from the corner by Williams. Too strong. Rebound easily by Dracovic. Dracovic gets it to Sholkowski. Sholkowski. Now Petkash. Kasanovich will drive, then get outside to Llewellyn. Petkash a three, a little to the left. Rebound by Hoy. Andrew Hoy, the junior for Steel Valley. So there's going to be a foul on Pine Richardson. Again on Sebastian Kasanovich, his second of the night. Inbounding for Steel Valley, Camden Pollack. Pollack will get it to Connor Vihek. And here goes Phil, wide open. There's another dunk for Phil Dracovic. We were talking about that before, maybe another dunk by Dracovic. And there yeah, he yeah, Brian, he's able to break away and lay it in there for two. Saw it on Tuesday against Shaler. Gets another one on the steal. Steal and score for Phil Dracovic. And again, tipped away, but Possession maintained by Pollock because there's 317 and a travel now on Steel Valley. 315 now in our first quarter. Rams down by a point, eight to seven. Llewellyn will inbound from the baseline right in front of us, Ben. We have a pretty good view here from the corner of the gym, right next to the Rams bench. And Shokoski will get to Petcash at the wing. Cross court pass, Llewellyn. And now Sokoski nearly loses it, and uh, so, uh, Sebastian loses his balance and gets the ball now, and he will rattle it in. Rams nice, have the lead again, 9-8. Nice job there in traffic, getting it off and getting the two. So here's a drive and a score by Cameron Williams. Now Petcash will get to Llewellyn. Llewellyn from the top of the key. Shot too strong, tipped around, and now here goes Pollock on the rebound. Loses the ball, and now here's Petcash. Petcash finds Dracovic. Dracovic lays it up and in. Back and forth here, Ben. Rams up 11 to 10 now. Yeah, Brian, and we've seen earlier this year that the Rams have no, no problem playing this game, trading points. That's not the way you beat a Pine Richland team. And a trading double, back and forth. Yeah, there was just a double dribble on Cameron Williams. Kyle Pulse checking in now for the Rams. 2 minutes 11 seconds left in our opening quarter from Pine Ridge and High School. The Rams side. going for a uh, sweep here yep. tonight. The junior varsity team won earlier today. Yeah. Pretty easy win for them. Mr. Kovic will get back to Sholkowski. Sholkowski tries a three. Rattles in for Greg Sholkowski. Sholkowski, leading scorer for Pine Richland last Tuesday, or this past Tuesday, that is, against Shaler. 20 points as well as seven assists for the junior guard for the Rams. There's a three by Williams that's too strong. Tipped around and rebounded by Kasanovich. Kasanovich gets it forward to Sholkowski. Now Phil. Petcash will drive, and there's a dunk himself for it, Daniel Petcash. Dunk Looks city. like the Pine Richland bench is a little energized as they get their second dunk here early. Yep, Dan Petcash is fired up, as he should be. Some height for Pine Richland this year. Yeah, it seemed like that, that dunk earlier in the quarter by Phil seemed to spark the Rams a little bit as they were sputtering a little bit early offensively. Rams lead by 6, 16 to 10. And at this time, we'd like to advertise our Pine Richland Television On Demand page. If you missed a concert, talent show, sporting event, or the morning announcements, or even a school board meeting, you can go to our Pine Richland On Demand page. You can access that by going to www.pinerichland.org slash PRTV slash On Demand. Minute 31 remaining in our opening quarter. 
The mob is showing up tonight, looks like, on the far side. They will really show up next Friday, Ben, as Pirates yeah, will host be, Butler. Uh, yeah. Won't be able to find a seat in this, in here. Yeah, I talked to team manager Cole Peterson before the game, and he said, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be stacked to the roof here. So as they pass out of bounds, the intended receiver was Cameron Williams. Yeah, and we know, Brian, that they, uh, Butler and uh, Pine Richland have played some big games in the past. Yeah. So Pulse will inbound to Solkowski. Solkowski to Petcast, now Jakovic near the corner, gets back up top. Solkowski, alley-oop attempt, and it goes down. Solkowski to Dracovic. Two more points for Dracovic. Dracovic now has six points tonight. Butler will be making its first visit back to Pine Richland since the buzzer beater yeah. controversy last year. Very close call. Resulted in the Pine Richland victory. Yep, as there's a three that Rattles in for Camden Pollack. 38 seconds now. Pulse gets it inside Dracovic. Back outside the Pulse. Pulse. Now Kasanovic. Dracovic tries another dunk. Hits the back of the rim. Kasanovic gets the rebound. There's going to be a foul on Pine Richland. Pardon me, that was on uh, v Heck. As Kenny White will check in for Pine Richardson, Kasanovich will take a breather on the bench. Here's the inbound. Long two by Solkowski, rattles in. Rams up by seven, 20 to 13. And here's Williams, Williams trying to work around Kyle Pulse. Gets it to Pollack. Pollack gets it to Vihek. Vihek guarded by Kenny White. Vihek tries a three. Nothing but net for Connor Vihek. One second, Dracovic doesn't get the shot off in time, doesn't go down anyway. So at the end of our first quarter, Pine Richen leads by four, 20 to 16 over the Steel Valley Ironmen. So Ben, what are your comments on this first quarter by Pine Richen? Obviously they're leading, we've seen some electric plays, some two dunks already by uh, Dracovic and then Petcash, but uh, what are some comments you have about uh, their first quarter? You know, Brian, I thought that Pine Richland was sputtering a little bit there at the beginning. It looked like Steel, Steel Valley was able to come out and do what they yep. wanted to do. Wanted to do. Jumped out to an early, looked like 10-9 lead there early, and Pine Richland seemed a little flustered, but it seemed like once Phil knocked that, put that dunk yeah. in, Pine Richland was able to get their act together and go on a run. and. It, and get a 20 to 16 first quarter lead. Yeah, a big momentum shift for Pine Richen there. Uh, we've seen uh, some good shot selections by Pine Richen, uh, some early fouls uh, by Kasanovich, but uh, something the Rams have to look out for, in my opinion, looks like Steel Valley's been hitting a good bit of threes. Yeah, Brian, and we were watching during warmups a good deal of their, a good deal of, uh, Steel, of Steel Valley Ironmen were working on three yeah. pointers and they were hitting them with regularity, so that's something if you're Pine Richland you want to watch out and defend. So Chase Pollack leads Steel Valley shooters in the first quarter with six points, and Jakovic leads all Pine Richland players with six points of his own. So here's the inbound as the second quarter is underway. Thank you for joining us on Pine Richland Television. Alongside the legend, Ben Lambert, I'm Brian Kirk. Bring you along for a non-section WPIAL game. There's a turnover and there's a whistle as looks like Solkowski tried to get through Kovic. There's going to be a foul on Vihek for Steel Valley. Inbound for Pulse and swung around a three. Two short by Solkowski and another whistle this time it's looked against like Pine it Richland. Out, looked like it went out, the ball went out of bounds. May have went over the backboard actually. If there's an inbound, it will be to Pollack. I stand corrected. It's all right, Ben, as Camden Pollack brings it into the front court, defended by Greg Shulkowski. Shulkowski gets it to Williams. Williams, now Pollack. Nick Harhai, now in the game for Steel Valley. Harhai, the sophomore. 
there's a whistle against Harhai and the Ironmen. And the Rams will get the ball here. 7-16 in our second quarter. Rams up by 4, 20 to 16. You know, Brian, that kills you if you're the yeah. Ironman. You don't want to commit those offensive fouls whenever you got open looks at the basket. Dracovic gets it to Kenny White. White gets it back to Kyle Pulse. Shokoski pulls up for a three, and that one is in as well. Greg Shokoski. And now a three attempt now by, guess what, Chase Pollock. Another three for Chase Pollock here early on in this game as here's a drive now by Petcash, gets it outside. Now a three by Kyle Pulse. Pulse's sh shot is too strong. And now it is out of bounds off of Cameron Williams and Still Valley, so the Rams will win bound. 32 Todd Hill in the game for Still Valley. Hill the junior. As Pulse will inbound Sholkowski, now on the wing, that's Petcash. Pulse at the top of the key. Gets it to Sholkowski. Back to Pulse. Sholkowski inside to Petcash. Dracovic tries a long two. It goes down. Nice ball movement there by Pine Richland. Not trying to force anything. Wait for the open guy. Here's Cameron Williams. Good to... Yes, Rokoski and Dracovic share the line eight points apiece. There's a ball out of bounds off of Pine Richland. Steel Valley will inbound, and that is Harhai who will inbound for the Iron Men. Iron Men seven and eight this season. Harhai looking to find his man. He gets it to Pollack. Pollack tries a two. Off the backboard, doesn't get rim, and now a jump ball. Possession arrow points towards Pine Richardson. The jump ball was between Kenny White and Todd Hill. So the Rams will inbound. Pulse gets it to Sholkowski on the inbound. Then bounce back to Pulse. 5.45 remaining, second quarter. Pulse at the top of the key, gets to Sholkowski. Sholkowski intended to take a three. Instead gets to Dracovic. Dracovic inside the pet cast. Again, great ball movement by Pine Richland. Results in two more points for Pine Richland. They lead by eight, 27 to 19. 528 now in our second quarter. Now Harhai getting defended well by Dracovic gets it to Pollack. He's defended by Dan Petcash. Loses his dribble and gets it to Williams. Williams, short corner. It's blocked away by Petcash. Harhai, again will inbound, he gets it to Hill. Hill gets it to the wing, that's Pollack. Now a three, a foul. How about that, Chase Pollack gets fouled by Kenny White. Looks like he's three goes going down. for the four point four play. Four point play, very rare, but fouled in the corner, three rattles in. That's big for the Ironmen who are trying to claw their way back into this game here early. Pollack leading with leading with 12 points ahead of all other scorers for Steel Valley as he hits another one. 13 points now for Chase Pollack. Steel Valley cuts the lead to four, 27-23. Pulse fakes the pass, pulls up for three, too strong. Offensive rebound, Dracovic. Dracovic gets it to Pulse, swings it around, Petcash a three. Rattles in. Three for number three. Rams answering the Ironman's challenge. Yeah. So Pollack, Camden Pollack that is. Pollack will drive. Blocked away by Petcash. Dracovic gets it to Petcash. Baseline drive, gets it outside the Pulse. Pulse. Resets, gets it to Kenny White. Kenny White, about the corner, gets it cross court. Cholkowski pulls up for a three. Two short, tipped around. And there will be a foul on Phil Dracovic. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Dawson Goltz now checking in for the Rams. Pulse will take a seat for now. Dawson Goltz, you saw him on the football field a few times. He played few. a little quarterback yeah. whenever that was Pine Richland was. That was a fun game to watch. A lot of fun watching Pine Richland. And another three by Chase Pollack. He's been kind of fun to watch. Yeah, Brian, another three. Hot hand hitting, hitting some threes here in the first half. And I've also had fun watching Dan Petcash hit threes. Yeah, Dan Petcash taking after his brother, up Andrew, up at Boston University, playing basketball for the Terriers. There's a double dribble on Chase Pollack, and he doesn't quite agree with it. Puts his arms in the air, and uh, Steel Valley crowd doesn't quite agree with it either, as well as... He's talking to the official on the far side. You never want to... Head coach of Steel Valley, Dale Chapman. You never want to get any to get extra for the... Uh, for something after the play. Yeah, Del Chapman trying to get an explanation from the ref as another three is down for Dan Petcash. Cash from three-point land. 13 points now for Dan Petcash. Needing all of Rams and points. Here's a drive by Williams, reverse layup. Nifty play by Cameron Williams. Rams lead cut down to eight, 36-28. Three minutes to go in our first half. Dawson Goltz pulls up for a three from the wing. Nothing but net for Dawson Goltz. Yeah, Pine Richland doing a nice job connecting on their threes these last couple possessions they've had. During my game on Tuesday, well, we'll get back to that in a minute. Here goes Sulkowski on an easy layup. Kind of adds into what I was about to say. On, on, during the game on Tuesday, Rams put a lot of points up in a hurry. Yeah, Brian, this, these Pine Richland Rams, much like football, they're a very quick, quick strike offense, and if you turn yeah. the ball over against them, There's one right you, there. you may find them going the other way in a hurry. There's a foul on Petcash. Looks like a charge, actually. 41-28. Rams put up 11 points in a quick amount of time, actually. Not too long ago, it was 30-23 to as... Colin Llewellyn and Sebastian Kasanovich check in for Pine Richen. Dracovic and Kenny White will go to the bench for a breather. 2.19 here left in the first half. As Pollack brings in the front court, defended by Sholkowski. Sholkowski. Been one of the uh, greatest stories of Pine Richen this year. Came on in the playoffs last year. We've seen a lot of them, and there's a quick layup by Cameron Williams that goes down. Six points now for Williams as short corner from Petcash off the rim. Too short. Rebounded by Harhai. Now here's Williams. Gets it back to Pollack. Pollack at the top of the key. And a turnover, and here goes Dawson Goats. Dawson Goats will lay it up. Dawson Gold showing the speed once, once, once he was able to find the ball, he was off to the races. Now a long three rattles in and out for Pollack. Rebound goes to Dan Petcash in the Rams. Minute 15 now in our second quarter of action. Rams up by 13. Slows down his dribble and gets it to Sholkowski now at the wing inside Kasanovic. From about the blocks, no good. Gets his own rebound from the paint. It goes down for Sebastian Kasanovic. Under a minute now, Rams up by 15. It's a timeout called by Steel Valley. To get some subs in, Andrew Hoy and Connor Vihek will check back in for looks like Steel Valley, Pet while Pulse checks back in looks for Looks like Pet Cash will take a seat as well for Pine Richland. Yep. Finish off the half. V Heck gets it to Pollack. And errant pass. Actually, Pollack fell over. And now, good amount of steps there. That was Williams. Didn't call a travel. But now there's instead a foul on Steel Valley.
Williams charged with the foul. Pulse will inbound, 35 seconds to go. Stay tuned at halftime as our dance team is gonna be doing an act in front of the crowds here at Pine Ridge and High School. Shokoski gets it to Llewellyn now. Kasanovich at the baseline gets it out to Shokoski. His shot's too strong. Offensive rebound goes to Llewellyn. Now a three too strong there by Pulse. And now a three as he's knocked over. Shokoski is fouled. He'll go to the line for, I believe, three shots with 6.1 seconds left. Pine Richland will be able to come out of the first half with a double digit lead. Three shots coming from Shikoski. Regardless of. Yeah. First of three. Nothing but net. Shikoski now has 11 points tonight, trying to make it a dozen. And he will. Another. Free throw, nothing but net from trying Greg Shokoski. He's trying to get a baker's dozen now, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> needs one more. Let's see if he hits it here. Rams up 17, 47-30. Too strong. I'll have to wait until the second half for a baker's dozen. Is full court press with two seconds. Doesn't get the shot off. Well, he does actually in time, but it is nowhere near. Looked like a basket. Cali Pulse's oh. uh, <laughs> senior picture. <laughs> senior pick. Yep. So, well, we're here now joined by Tommy Camino. Uh, we'll interview him hopefully when we come back from halftime. But uh, Tommy, it's great to have you here. How are you doing? It's great to be here. How are you guys? Uh, we're doing good. Congratulations on that state football championship. Thank you. Yep. So, uh, we're going to ask you a question about this Rams first half. What have you liked from the Rams here? I like the way we've been shooting the ball this first half. Uh, we're going to get him a headset here in a minute. Let's see. Here's Tommy Camino, team manager of Pine Richland, and also on the Rams defense for football. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I've liked the way we've shot the ball so far in the first half, putting up a lot of points, 47 points. That's a great job. Hopefully we can uh, guard 24 a little bit better, though. Yeah. He's been making some big-time shots so far. But I like the way the offense has been rolling. Yep. We're, on, we're on the right track right now. Make a few halftime mm -hmm. adjustments, maybe tighten up the D, better so shot selection towards the end of the half, and I think we should be good. Yeah, uh... Ready, Tommy, uh, it seemed it seemed like after Phil hit that hit that dunk there, it seemed like the Rams were able to were able to get going a little bit. Can you just talk a little bit about the kind of energy Phil brings to the basketball court? I of mean, course. we all know about Phil on the football field, how much of a leader it, leader he is. Does that translate to the basketball court as well? For sure, for sure. Phil's a definite leader bright future ahead of him and he really just brings a lot of energy when he steps on the court because he plays with so much passion as you can see in that dunk right there that was filled with a lot of it a lot yeah. of passion and I think that really got the team going it fired everybody up and it was just great to see yep all right so thank you Tommy for thank you guys uh, appreciate it second half good to see yep. you yep good seeing you Bye. too and the Rams lead by 17 47 30 at the end of the first half let's go see what our dance team is doing on the floor right now by Cameron Williams, and then retreats out to the corner, takes it up to the top of the key and gets it now to Viek. Viek gets it to Pollack. Pollack now to his brother Camden. And Hoy gets it to Camden Pollack. Pollack long two, too strong. Rebound goes to Dracovic. Dracovic will get it to the corner. Three attempt by Llewellyn off the back rim. Rebound fought for and Picked up by Williams, Kasanovich hit the deck right in front of us, limping just a little bit, but we'll walk it off. And now a three is good. 
as he fell over, that was Camden Pollack. Looks like Krasanovich mouthed the uh, words that he's fine over to his bench. There's a three that's no good by Petcash. Rebound goes to Hoy. And now Williams, Williams. Get to the corner, another three by Pollack. Chase Pollack, it's an air ball. Sokovic with the rebound. Nice pass to Sokoski. He will lay it up. Friendly rim for Greg Sokoski. Yeah, it looked like the ball didn't, the ball had eyes there. It didn't, wasn't sure about going in there and then finally it, it dipped in there. It was on the, hanging on the rim there for a second. Yeah, Viet gets it to Pollack. And now Camden Pollack pulls up for a three. It's nothing but net. He's got 11. 49-36. As Camden Pollack now has 11. Llewellyn gets it to Sokoski. Dracovic got off the free throw line. Now Petcash will try a 3-2 strong. Offensive rebound, Dracovic. Dracovic right in front of us, kind of. His shot's too strong. Rebound goes to Williams. Williams in transition. He is fouled. It will be a charge, actually, on Williams. Kenny White checking back in for the Rams now as they lead 49-36 over the Steel Valley Ironmen. Alongside the legend, Ben Lambert, I'm Brian Kirk here on Pinerson Television. Here's Llewellyn pulling up, well, faking the pull up for a three, but now gets it to Petcash. Now Jakovic at the top of the key, inside pass Llewellyn. Llewellyn shot no good. Offensive rebound, Kenny White gets his first two points of the night. So he's been our statistician in the first half, but in the second half he will be joining us here on the air. Uh, Sam Stella, who uh, is a rookie broadcaster, just making his debut tonight, uh, doing great stat work for us. As here's uh, Llewellyn off the turnover, and he is fouled on the play. Sam Stella is a Rampage writer for the in the Rampage. For those who don't know what that is, that's our high school newspaper. Sam, how are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good today, Brian. Yep, glad you're joining us here tonight to see. Uh, is Rams game against Steel Valley as Luom will take some free throws. His first, nothing but net. So what can you tell us about some stats so far? Who are the leading uh, stat? Who are the leading point total? Uh, Chase Pollock for Steel Valley has 16. His brother Camden has six. They have the er, I mean 11. They have the lion share of the scoring for um, Steel Valley. There's an offensive rebound for Dracovic off the free throw from the paint. It's good. And then Chukowski has 14 and Pekash has 13 for uh, the Rams. So the guards are taking uh, most of the scoring. Yep. There's a turnover again. Here goes Petcash. Petcash dribble behind his back, and he will be fouled by Cameron Williams. So Dan Petcash will go to the line to shoot two of his own. Rams up 54-36, 4.47 in our third quarter. First of two from Dan Petcash rattles in. Yeah, Brian, if you're Steel Valley, uh, fouling, fouling, fouling guys is the last thing you want to do if you want to get back into this game. You want to make the Rams earn their points. The Rams are certainly earning their points as Petcash hits both of his free throws. Rams up by 20, 56 to 36 now. Non-section game for the Rams. They will return to section play on Tuesday as they go travel just across Route 19 to visit North Allegheny Tigers. Tigers struggling in section play early on. They have a two and four section record after a victory over North Hills on Tuesday. Then the Rams, oh, here goes Dracovic. Is it showtime again? Yes, it is. Dracovic on another dunk. The Rams are so lethal when you give them a lot of turnovers like that. That's why I like this new press look. You, he doesn't have it on now, but in press games against like North Hills, um, they've been pressing as there's another, another turnover. There's another turnover. Llewellyn gets bumped. He will be fouled by Chase Pollack. He will go to line for two shots. Yeah, a lot Brian, of fouls. Yeah, Brian, a lot of these these turnovers, you get guys running back because they're not in position to make in position and they end up running back and they're 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 forced into taking into taking a foul and 
gives these Rams an opportunity at the free, fr three, free throw line as Llewellyn missed his first one. Shot too strong. 3.57 in our third quarter. Let's see if Phil Dracovic's dunk will energize his team here Again, in the yeah. second half as it played a big role in their first half. Llewellyn hits one of two free throws from the line. Rams up 59-36. Full court pressure applied by Sholkowski. And Camden Pollock will finally get it across the timeline. And now Williams trying to work around Dan Petcash, now guarded by Kenny White. Kenny White, the senior for the Rams. Saw him on the football field as well. Fake drive by Pollock, and now a three is up and nothing but net by his brother Camden Pollock. Dracovic gets it outside, Llewellyn wide open for a three. Off side of the rim, and an easy rebound for Cameron Williams. Tried to get it to Vihek, and it is out of bounds. Nearly another turnover. The Rams' man defense has been pretty good tonight. Yeah. Uh, most of the baskets for Steel Valley have been uh, on three-pointers where they are shooting over the Rams. Kyle Pulse, Dawson Goltz checking in for Kenny White and Colin Llewellyn. Five out there for Pine Richardson. Dracovic, Pulse, Sholkowski, Petcash. Man, I lost the fifth player, Ben. Who did I mention? <laughs> Keep moving around. There's a shot that's good by uh, Harhai. There's a three from the wing by Petcash. Two short and rebound for Hoy. Looks like the Rams have been a little off on their three three point shooting here early in the second half. It's a wild three that's up and nothing but net. Camden Pollock, an off-balance shot. Nick goes down. Steel Valley trails by 15, though. Petcash has it in front of the Rams bench. Gets the top of the key. Solkowski now, a three attempt by Kyle Pops is down. They're able to get that one to go, and that should help, should build confidence moving forward for them. 62-44. It's a high pass to Hoy, and now that's Chase Pollack. Pollack from the paint. He will be fouled by Dawson Goltz. Yeah, Pollack, one of the guys that Tommy said that uh, during our interview with him that they needed the guard a little better. He's able to get a nice drive there and draw the foul. Yeah, the Pollocks combined have 75% of Steel Valley's points tonight. Yeah, Chase has uh, 16 points. And here's Chase at the line, trying to get to 17, and he will. He'll get a second shot as Todd Hill for Steel Valley checks back in. Vihek will take a seat. Cameron Williams awaiting to check back in as well. Chase Pollock. Shot, nothing but net. Here comes Cameron Williams back into the game. And Chase will take a seat for a quick breather. A lot of action Looks for Looks like we're 150 now left in the third quarter. Yep, Pulse gets it outside top of the key, Sholkowski. Now Petcash cross court pass to Pulse. Sholkowski, top of the key. Inside Goltz, Goltz gets it to Phil, to Pulse. Now Sholkowski. A long three off the front rim. And long rebound goes to Williams. Williams uses the ball and how about that save by Phil Dracovic there? Yeah, Brian, it really helps to have a 6'5 guy on your team and Phil Dracovic able to lay out and save it there. Pulls up the wing, gets it to Sokoski and now Petcash on the far side. Petcash gets it back to Sokoski. Pulse gets it inside Dracovic along the baseline. Dracovic now gets it to Goltz. Goltz inside to Petcash. His lay is no good. And it is rebounded by Harhai. Here comes Steel Valley. He loses the ball. Here goes Sholkowski. Sholkowski. Alley oop! Oh my goodness! Phil Dracovic's third dunk of the night. The hat trick. Wow! An impressive play for Pine Richland. He's really energized. Are you kidding me? Energized it here late in the third quarter. Crowd is on their feet. 
at least a student section. There's a highlight of his own. Three for while Camden falling. Paul. Yeah, another four point play. A lot of the three with some style points on that one. That gives him 20 points. Phil Dracovic putting on a show tonight. Tried that alley oop a few times tonight. Got the layup earlier, and then they had one against Shaler on Tuesday. Is this four point? Another yep, four Pollock point play for the uh, Iron Men. Cameron Williams. Excuse me, that was Sokoski looking at the wrong roster. Pulse gets to Sokoski. Sokoski now gets it to Dan Petcash on the wing. Gets it to the other wing. That's Pulse. Top of the key. Back to Sokoski. Now Pulse. Dracovic will do a baseline jump from the short corner. Is no good. Offensive rebound by Goltz. Goltz will be fouled, and he will go to the line for two. This Steel Valley half-court defense hasn't been terrible. Uh, their two threes working fine, but they've given up so many points in transition that they're still down 14. Goltz has five points tonight. He's trying to get six. Doesn't get it there. He'll have a second shot. Didn't mention this in the first half, but uh, congratulations to head coach of the Rams, Jeff Ackerman, who on Tuesday night, us here at PRTV was on the call, but uh, Jeff Ackerman got his 300th career win. You know, Brian, it's never easy to get 300 wins in any sport, let alone basketball, so it was a big achievement for him. Yeah, Jeff Ackerman in his fourth season as Pine Richland head coach. Has done a lot here for the Rams. Two WPIAL championships, one in quad A, one in, actually, one in quad A, one in six A, yep. Pine Richland trying to get back there again this year. So, uh, Ben, what do you see? Uh, Steel Valley's only down by 14. It's not insurmountable, but what do you see them doing? Is there's 4.8 seconds left here on the scoreboard. Uh, what do you see them doing uh, throughout the rest of this game? Well, you know, Brian, I think that they've been doing a nice job of converting their threes, and really I, c I could see them going for more of that because they need to get back into this game in a hurry because Pine Richland, they're not slowing down yep. anytime soon, as we saw. They can get energized in a heartbeat, and they have a quick strike offense. Yep, as we're about ready to get back to action here. Uh, thank you for joining us here on Pine Rich and Television. He's Ben Lambert, and I'm Brian Kirp, and here's Sam Stella as well. Hopefully you see him in your camera shot. Uh, we're getting ready. There's uh, only a few ticks have uh, come off the clock. It's 4.5 seconds now. Cameron Williams will inbound, and he will get to Har High. Three seconds, two seconds. Har High tries to pull up, and a loud shot. There's going to be a travel, it doesn't matter, as the clock has expired. Actually, wait a minute, the ref might put some time on the clock. Yep, he will. Point four seconds left, Ben. Yeah, maybe. Quick uh, shot, yeah. I'm going to have to have a really quick one here, just a, a pass and a, and a shot, you know. pass for Dawson Goltz. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Almost rattled in. Dawson Goltz saw my quarterback a few times, but uh, yeah, able inbound. to show off the arm strength there. I thought it was going in for a second. <laughs> Wouldn't have counted as it's just an inbound, but uh, putback is no good. Rams still up by 14, 64 to 50. But a very creative play there. So Sam, uh, we've seen uh, three quarters of action here. You've been keeping some stats. Uh, you, you've probably been looking at some of those numbers. Uh, what players uh, impressed you the most? Um, so there are uh, three uh, Pine Richland players in double figures. Petcash has 15, Dracovic has 14, and Chukoski has 14. Wow. And then uh, for Steel Valley, it's still the Pollux. Chase has 17, Camden has 21. So uh, for the Pollux show, and uh, Rams, you said they have three players in double figures? Yeah, Chukoski, Dracovic, and Petcash. Yeah, actually, three of those four players, uh, or three of those players were uh, three of the four that uh, played, had double figures against Shaler on Tuesday. Llewellyn is the only one that doesn't have double figures. How many points does he have? Four. 
He is four, so he has a little bit of uh, work to do to get to double figures, but we'll see if he can hit some threes here. Will we see more dunks, Ben, or will we see some three-pointers? You know, know I don't know, Brian, quarter. Phil Dracovic's a very competitive yeah. guy. You know, he's not happy with three. He always wants more. Yep. And it's so tough for a defense. The, the big question on every coach's mind facing this kid is, how do you guard somebody who's 6'5"? <laughs> That's tough to you have a guy that big. You know, you put a guy on him, they throw it above above you, and you know it's it. It's very hard to make up if you're small in size, and they've really done a nice job of utilizing Phil. I'm gonna put a football uh, comparison out there. We've seen it a lot uh, from Phil on his quarterback keeps uh, going through like a freight train. Yeah, it's very very hard to tackle him too, and on the football field. Yes, here's a three that is an air ball. The attempt by Andrew Hoy as Dracovic gets it up to Shulkowski. Give and go. Tried to get to Petcash and said it is turned over. Now here's a three that is too short. Attempted by Camden Pollock. And now there's a foul as Dracovic tries to take it. Yeah, it looked like court. Phil was trying to go head off to the races there. Maybe go for another one. <laughs> but he's fouled and it looks like the Rams will... Well, inbound here. Note how uh, Steel Valley's in a 2-3. The Rams will likely see more of these because North Hills kept the Rams at bay in the half court with one of these, too. Yep, there's a three. That is up and good. There's Llewellyn. He now has seven points. Another three will get him in double figures. Rams up by 17, 67.50. Clock is at seven minutes and three seconds. As Williams tries to maintain his dribble, gets it inside, tipped around. Now Williams gets the ball back. His three is barely off of the front rim. I don't think it looked like it went off the net there. I don't as even it, know if it hit the it rim. went low, it hit the, hit the uh, outside of the net. And Sholkowski gets the ball from Llewellyn, and now Petcash at the wing. Dracovic inside the free throw line from the Rams in the paint. Dracovic gets two more points. That kind of high post action is one thing you can do to beat these two, three zones. Saw Dracovic have some high post action against Shaler as well. We've seen, he's an all around shooter. He can't just do it inside. He'll, you saw him hit threes last year. He can hit the long twos, he could dunk. All around basketball player, as that shot is good by Connor Andrew Hoy. And Dracovic. He's a definition of an athlete. That's why he's going to Notre Dame to play football. There's another athlete right there, Greg Shulkowski with three more points. Under six minutes to play, Rams up by 20, 72 to 52. Yeah, Shulkowski had a uh, great game against Shaler and it looks like he's coming in with another solid performance here. Yeah, 20 points against Shaler on Tuesday. There's a shot, it's no good, rebound goes to Llewellyn. Llewellyn gets it to Petcash. Faked uh, three, gets it to Llewellyn in the corner. Kasanovic, his shot rattles in. Kasanovic, four points tonight now. He's been uh, very good rebounding inside though. He has a number of rebounds. I haven't been keeping track, but. It's all right, as there's a shot that is uh, good by Cameron Williams. That's why this team, this Rams team, went to the playoffs of the last few years. They're an all-around team, as Dracovic gets rebound. Yep, there it is, there's a rebound. A little the game of hot potato, Ryan, <laughs> with the ball still going back and forth up into the air, and he's able to get it in. Yeah, this Rams team, all-around team, offense, defense, don't commit too many fouls. They also don't commit too many turnovers either. Uh-oh, Dracovic, can he go for a four? There's another dunk. It's becoming a habit now, Ben. Yeah, Br yeah Brian Phil Dracovic with his fourth on the night. That gives him 20 points on the night too, which is a milestone figure in a single game. Yeah, and it's never good. You always gotta be careful if you're Steel Valley or any offense. 
Well, when you're guarding the point, you got to make sure you got to look out for 22 because you know if he's he's looking to get that ball and go off to the races. Sonovich gets it back to Phil inside pass. Petcash elevates and puts it in. Petcash having a great game. He has 17. Dracovic with 20, as Sam mentioned earlier, and Chulkowski with 17. Pine Richland looking to hit triple digits here with 80 points. Logan Murray awaiting the check-in for Pine Richland. 20 away from 100. <laughs> Dracovic, there's a strong pass. Here's Llewellyn, Llewellyn with an easy layup. Assist goes to Petcash. We'd like to thank our PRTV crew at this time for coming out here on a Friday night. Uh, we have Sam Stella, myself, Ben Lambert as well. There's announcers, but it's not just us announcers, it's everyone else. So here goes Petcash. He will lay it up. We have Bill Clack, our executive producer. We have AJ Gibron, who's doing directing. We have uh, Braden Perry also in our control room. Then we have Ahmad and Jacob Oklievsky up on camera. Thank you to all our crew members for assisting us, as well as Bailey Clack, our uh, sideline camera. Bailey Clack getting some excellent shots tonight. As Ram starters will check out, getting a nice hand from the crowd here. Uh, I believe the Rams have gone um, on a 14-0 run here to start this fourth quarter and put the game away. And we'll try to get the Rams that are now in there as there's a three, off balance three by Pollock. It's no good. Offensive rebound goes down for Todd Hill. So here's Logan Murray. Gets it to Alex Swartout. Swartout tries a three off the front rim. Rebound goes to Kenny White. Kenny White gets it to... Pulse couldn't, Pulse. Make, him yeah, pay, Pulse. couldn't make him pay for that defensive breakdown there. There's a drive that is uh, a foul. Patrick Shanahan also in there for the Rams. 2.24 remaining in our game. Rams up 84-58. That foul is on Alex Swartout. It's two shots coming for Cameron Williams. Williams first, nothing but net. Cameron Williams with nine points tonight. Caravon Harris getting ready to check back in. A few words of advice from his head coach. The second from Williams is good. It's 84 to 60 now. That put them in double figures. Here goes Murray, bring it into the front court. Logan Murray gets it to Pulse. Pulse now Alex Ward out. Back to Pulse. Pulse gets it to Kenny White. Inside, gets it back to Pulse. Pulse dribbles around, gets the sword out, swinging it around, and a three by Murray's off the rim. And a jump ball, and a little bit of aggression between Kenny White and Todd Hill. It's a jump ball, possession arrow goes to Steel Valley. Kenny White showing a little bit of that football spirit he had yep, with the takedown there. Here's Harhai as we are under two minutes. One minute and 48 seconds. Oh, and nearly a turnover. Kenny White tried to get the ball there, but Pollock will get it to Connor Rossi, and it's no good. And a turnover, and now an immediate foul on Connor Murray. Or Logan. Logan Murray. So many Connors out there, it seems. <laughs> Those guys are for Steel Valley, though. It's a floor foul as there will be inbound. Todd Hill looking to find his man and he will get it to Shanahan and he misses, actually hits it. So Polak. It's two for Steel Valley, a minute and 20 seconds to go. Kenny White gets it to Sword out, Sword out. Looks like the Rams are con very content to eat some clock here. 
Yep, Murray it's dribbling approaching around. a minute left in the in the in the basketball game. And Pulse loses the ball trying to drive in the paint. Kind of surprised the Rams haven't gone to a four corners look yet to try to run the clock out. Yeah, not yet. It's under a minute though. There's a put back by Todd Hill. Here's Sword out, gets it to Pulse, back to Sword out, Sword out the junior for Pine Richland. Sword out will get it to Murray. Murray now to Kenny White. Kenny White. Again, the Rams trying to wind some more clock. There's a timeout called by Steel Valley. Looked like he was fouled, actually, Brian. Good Austin Goltz will check back in. Looks like Kenny will get a shot at the free throw line. The uh, Pollock brothers just checked out. They combined for 40 points wow. tonight. White has two points, trying to get a few more. The Rams are now in the bonus, one and one. White hits the first, he now has three. Second is good as well by White. The clock winds down to 30 seconds. Pollock, Chase Pollock back in. Yep. Or, I mean, Camden just went uh, backcourt violation there. Yeah, thanks for that, uh, Sam. There's an inbound, 20 seconds. Murray probably just wind clock out here. No, Rams trying to get more points. Sword out will actually try a three off the front rim. White still being competitive. This is out of bounds off of the Rams. Jordan Fisher, a freshman actually now into the game for Steel Valley. Camden Pollock will uh, sit down. There is seven seconds left. Rossi will end it. Rams, a big win. A lot of highlights in this one, Ben. Yeah, Brian, Pine Richland got out to a little bit of a slow start, but they were able to pick it up when they needed to. Big, it's big to get that Phil dunk in there. So, uh, Ben, uh, what are your comments? Rams up by 22, 86 to 64, the victory over uh, yeah, Steel Valley. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought that uh, Pine Richland did a nice job of taking care of the ball and uh, really not feeding the uh, Steel Valley's transition game as, uh, yeah, they were able to come in and win pretty co pretty convincingly. and. Yeah. They have really no time to pat themselves on the backs as mm -hmm. they got a couple of big games next week. Uh, North Allegheny and Butler, we know that uh, North Allegheny, we're gonna, they're going to be facing a couple of angry teams that they've beaten yeah. already. As North, they beat North Allegheny earlier in the year, and obviously Butler, they, they mm -hmm. won down at their place. Butler will be coming back, coming up here first time, as we mentioned yeah. earlier, since the uh, basket controversy by... Phil Dracovic and the uh, and the uh, Whippeal Championship game, so they'll be facing a couple of angry teams coming in here. So uh, there were a lot of highlights in this game, Ben. <laughs> which one was the? We got some dunks. We got that alley oop here in the second half. Uh, which one was your play of the game? There's so many to choose from. You know, Brian, I'm gonna go back to the first quarter. That that first slam by Phil Dracovic that. That really seemed to get Pine lit light a fire under the Pine Richland posteriors, so uh, <laughs> and they were able to able to get it going from there. Okay, Ben, uh, thank you for joining me tonight, as well as Sam Stella and the rest of our PR TV crew. Hopefully, we'll be calling some more games again this year. Uh, trying to do a girls' game on Monday, and also we'll be back here next Friday as Butler comes to town. But the Rams victorious tonight over the Steel Valley Ironmen. Final score, 86-64. to 64. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your weekend.